Hey guys, this is Nick with Atomic Underground. We just finished uh, two days of hard work out here at the silo. Told you we'd have updates in August, and this is going to be your August update. So we're coming down from the surface here. It is now nighttime. Big things you'll notice that are different. We've been working mainly on the access portal. We removed the floor, starting to open up the old elevator shaft. You can see it now goes all the way down. So we've got the first of the lights installed. This is what we're calling portal level one. This is one of the big projects we've been working on. We have permanent electrical through most of the building. Uh, we still are working on top side, so that stuff's not uh, completely permanent yet, but the breaker box is and all the, everything else is done. Got a temporary safety rail up. A lot of this floor is rotted, so we're replacing it. This is portal level two. This is our intermediate pump that just takes the water from the bottom and brings it all the way up to the surface. More LED lights in here. It's level three. We got a lot of mess cleaned up and made a lot more. So I talked about this in my last video, uh, some of the disaster that's down here as far as extra cables and hoses and stuff. Uh, you can see it a lot better now that the lights are working. This is portal level four, which is also level two of the launch control center. Uh, unreliable power was one of the biggest problems out here. That is no longer an issue. Every one of the plugs is on its own breaker. There's no more power strips. Um, this is a long time coming and so far has worked really, really well. So last time there wasn't quite this much water in here. What we've been doing is pumping out the very bottom of the launch control center. And while doing that, we actually overfilled this room and caused it to go down the long cableway. Not a big deal, we can pump it out. Uh, we just finished installing a pump down there again today. Where in the last video that pump was removed. They both uh, spray out right here out of these two pipes. If I turn them on right now, this room will completely flood. So I'm letting the pumps catch back up. So we're in the blast lock, moving through door seven. This is door eight and door nine. You guys have been down here before, but uh, the last time you were down here, there was no water. Uh, there's only about four or five inches right now. I was pumping it down, but it was flooding the access portal, so we stopped for a little bit. Brand new pump installed down at the end. This will all be gone within a day or two. There are drains in the floor that actually lead down the long cableway, but of course they're clogged with mud, so this room is constantly full of water. Once we can start digging it out, we'll be able to get in there. Anyway, last tour video I did, level two was dr dry, but level three was not. There's not gonna be enough light. I haven't run any lights down there yet but we'll see what we can get on the camera. Yeah, nothing. Anyway, level three is dry. Once we get some um, lights down there, we will get a video. Um, right now there's about two feet of water underneath level three that the pump is taking care of. I'll fire the pumps back up in a little bit here.
The only uh, dripping water we have in here right now is the air intake, which leads up the escape shaft. We still haven't opened up the escape hatch, and just a little small stream of water has been coming in through the uh, air vent. That will probably always require a little maintenance pump down at the bottom of that shaft once we clean it out to uh, keep the water out. But those are relatively inexpensive small pumps. And at the rate it's coming in, it would take about three years for it to flood the silo again. So I'm probably going to call this part two of the tour since it uh, covers a little bit more than the last one did, at least more you, that you can see. And we'll probably be working out here again in September. For right now, we're going to uh, get the rest of the water out and let some of the rooms dry out a little bit. See if I can get a nice video from the bottom here. So that floor will be coming out. And you can see all the way up to the light plywood up there is the roof on the surface. We are, I believe, uh, exactly 40 feet underground right now. And so that is uh, about 25 hours of work in two days. Got a lot of cleanup done and you guys have a great day.